Hey there, welcome to my channel. Starting to plan for Halloween, maybe a bit too late. Maybe the day before, which is when I'm posting this video. I'm actually really happy with all of the makeup looks that I created today. They all turned out really cute, really nice. So I hope that you like them. Also comment down below what you are doing for Halloween this year. I for one will be getting drunk and watching horror movies with Connor, so. That's my plan. With that being said, let's get straight into the makeup looks that I did. I'm just very excited to show you them, so let's let's go. Oh, before we get started, I just wanna say that during this video, I don't really get into the products that I'm using because I kind of wanted this video to be something where you can just use what you already have. But if you are interested in what I'm using, just comment down below and I will get back to you as soon as I can. So straight away, I'm gonna kick it off with a demon-inspired look. Think Satan, but ego vibes. This one is definitely the easiest one and is basically my go-to look for every Halloween, so let's get right into it. For time's sake, I've already finished my base makeup, meaning eyebrows, concealer, powder, etc, and it's finally time for the fun part. Our first step is to pile on the blush. As you can imagine, demons are pretty red and we want to replicate that in the best way I know how, by using layers and layers of blush. First up, I used the Glossier Cloud Paint in dark red, but any red blush will work. After that was blended out, I went in with another red eyeshadow just on top of that, really trying to build up the colour. Once I was finally satisfied with that, I took a darker red eyeshadow and used that as my contour. I really like to use coloured contour in looks like these because I think it looks nice. Yes, nice is the word I'm going for. Right, it's now time to move on to the eyeshadow and I kept it really simple for this look. All you're gonna wanna do is take a red eyeshadow and completely cover your lid with it before blending it out. The blending part is really important in order to make it look like it's more than it is. So I just brought the color up close to my eyebrow and then out towards my temples. Once you've done that, take the same red eyeshadow along your lower lash line and blend it out. And then you're gonna do the same thing on the other eye. And finally take a dark brown color along your upper lash line and blend it out into the red. Easy. To bring the eyeshadow look together, I added a black eyeliner and you can be as ambitious as you want with your liner, but I settled for a very basic look, maybe slightly longer than I would normally do, but it's just too scary for me. I then dabbed on a shimmery red eyeshadow in the center of my lid, just using my finger. And again, you can be as ambitious as you want with the shimmer. I think this will look really cool with some more glitter, but alas. At this point, make sure to add mascara. I actually forgot to do this until the very end. So to finish off the eyes, once and for all, I just added a pink toned highlight to my inner corner and voila, the eyeshadow is complete. For the lips, just use a red lipstick. I like to feather out the edges using a brush purely because I'm not very good at it but there's a tip if you aren't either. And finally, using a brush or your finger, add black eyeshadow to your upper lip and boom, you're a demon. Obviously you can use black lipstick if you have one, but I don't, so yeah, eyeshadow it is. I really feel like the last step pulled the whole look together and you may be thinking it only works because of the devil horns I'm wearing and if you don't conveniently have some lying around, I would just recommend looking in your nearest supermarket because they seem to have a lot of them lying around or if not, trying some DIY. Next up, we have vampire makeup. And honestly, if you've never been a vampire for Halloween, you've never really lived. So let's get right into it. As always, I started off by using my concealer, but there's a twist this time because for once in my life, I completely avoided my bags. Finally, all those sleepless nights have paid off. Anyway, if you don't actually have bags or they aren't visible enough for your liking, you'll just have to do it the hard way using a mixture of brown, blue, and purple eyeshadows under your eyes. I also filled in my eyebrows a lot thinner than usual and attempted to carve them out using concealer keyword being attempted. For contour, I used the most unsaturated brown that I had in my contour palette and began to carve out my cheekbones, jaw and nose. And once that was blended out, I took a darker, still unsaturated brown to deepen the shadows further. Don't be shy with this step, the closer to a Tim Burton character you look, the better. Next, I added some veins around my jaw and under my eyes using a thin brush and red eyeshadow. I found that the trick was to lightly press onto the skin, allowing my hands to shake and wobble a little bit to get more of a natural look. I also added darker red in some of the veins, especially closer to my eyes to make it more intense. Now we're looking relatively dead, it's time for eyeshadow. So starting with an unsaturated brown, I lightly covered my entire lid. I focused most of the color on my outer corner and crease though. To deepen the look, I took a dark brown and began to build up the colour on the outer part of my lid. Then to blend it all out, I used a red colour on a fluffy brush and again, just blended it all out. I also brought the dark brown colour onto my lower lash line and blended it in towards my inner corner. I went a lot closer to my inner corner than I usually would, just to add to the bags. 
I then took a black eyeshadow and focused it on my outer corner. I always feel really intimidated by black eyeshadow, but it really helped to deepen the look and take it to the next level. I'm not really sure what the next level is, but yeah. At this point, I decided that my bags weren't quite cutting it, so I added a pinkish red colour onto the inner corner of my bags. Finally, to complete the eyeshadow look, I used a shimmery rustic red on the inner side of my eyelid, and as always, feel free to add more glitter at this point. For this look, I was feeling very ambitious with my eyeliner and decided to create little bat wings. They're definitely messy, but I think they look really cute and I'm glad that I did it. I was honestly surprised that I managed to do this the first time, but I quickly realised that making them symmetrical was the actual challenge, but hey, symmetry is for people with more brain cells than me, so we'll let it go. Next, I just added red to my waterline using a red pencil. You could probably use an eye safe lipstick or eyeshadow for this, but you didn't hear it from me. Now add highlight like you normally would. I decided to use a subtle yellow toned highlight because I didn't want it to be too overwhelming. I don't glow. I'm not from Twilight. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> That's such a bad joke. I quickly added mascara and now let's finally move on to lips. First cover your entire lips with a red lipstick. Then use black eyeshadow in the inner parts and centre of your lips. And then finally use a dark red lipstick over everything. You could just skip right to the dark red lipstick but I like the shadows that the black leaves underneath. Finally, we're going to add some more vampiric details, so just use a thin brush and red eyeshadow to add drips of blood coming from the lips. Then I used red pencil to draw on some bite marks before adding some more veins around them. And that is the finished vampire look. To be honest, I think this might be cursed because once I finished the look, I couldn't stop chomping at the camera and I just don't, I just don't even know. Next up is my witch look, which I'm really excited to show you. I just love it so much and I really didn't want to take it off at the end. I just wanted to make a cute witch who looks like she'd offer you health potions and baked goods and I feel like I achieved that. Obviously, if you want to go for a more spooky vibe, you could just change up the colours and I feel like that would work pretty well. Yeah, again, I've already finished my base makeup and I started by adding blush. I layered some orange eyeshadow onto my cheeks and then covered it with coral blush. If I'd known that I had a coral blush, I probably would have gone straight in with that, but fortunately I think the orange looks more sweet anyway. Next step is to go ham with freckles. I'm using Lottie London's freckle tint, but if you don't have something like that, you could use brown eyeshadow or a brown eyeliner. I like to focus my freckles on my cheeks and then bring them up to my temples. It's really important to gradually space them out as you go so that they look more natural. The eyeshadow for this look is super simple. I just took a soft pink colour and placed that on the outer side of my lid before blending it out up to my eyebrows and towards my temples. I also brought the pink down under my lower lash line. Next, I used a darker pink, more on the purple side, in my crease and blended that out slightly around the edges. I also went back in with the pink to further blend out the edges. I also made the bold decision to add some of the lighter pink to the tip of my nose and I spent Quite a bit of time buffing that out until I was happy with it. I then took a sea green colour and placed that on the inner side of my lid. And honestly, this is my favourite part. I think it looks so pretty. To finish off the eyelids, I added a pink toned highlight in my inner corner and bam, it's done. So it's now time to add highlight. I use the same pink toned highlighter for my cheekbones, nose and even my cupid's bow, which I never usually do. To complete the witchy vibe, I used a white eyeliner to draw a crescent moon on one of my cheeks and then a star on the other. If you don't have a white eyeliner, you could use the lightest concealer you have or you could use some eyeshadow as I think they would look pretty cool in colour as well. I decided to use a basic pink lip gloss for this look and then finally added some mascara to finish it up and there you have it, a witch who would definitely offer you health potions and baked goods. Next up we have a clown look. I feel like everyone and their mum has already done a clown look this year but I'm gonna do it anyway. First up I'm starting with blush. I used a deep pink colour and did a few layers of that to build it up. I also added blush on the bridge of my nose and chin. For contour, I used a slightly deeper pink and blended that up into my blush. Then, to solidify myself as a clown, I focused a lot of blush on the tip of my nose. If you wanted to, you could definitely make a defined line where your clown nose is, but I prefer the blended look. 
Next, I added some freckles, focusing them completely on my cheeks. I was thinking a lot about those creepy ventriloquist dolls. Please don't ask how I spelled that in my script, jeez. For the eyeshadow, I went for the classic clown look. First, I created two triangles on my upper and lower lid using an angled brush and a soft pink colour. I feel like you could finish the eyeshadow here and move on, but I decided to add some blue as my second colour. I started by covering the naked part of my lid with blue before blending the outer side into another triangle. Rather than use eyeliner, I decided to use black eyeshadow on a tiny brush and very gently lined my upper and lower lash line. At this point, I finally decided to use some glitter, hell yeah. So I chose a pinky orange glitter that I have and just packed that onto the pink triangles using my finger. And to finish the eyeshadow off, I added a shimmery blue onto the inner corner of my eye and then added some mascara. Finally, I finished off the look with a nude lipstick, but I definitely think a blue lip would look really cool as well. And there it is, that is the finished look. Super quick and easy this time. This gives me very strong baby clown vibes. You know, like one day I'll grow up and eat your face. Last but not least, I created a ghost look. Before we get into it, I wanted to quickly apologise for having such a creased shirt. This is me acting out the excuse that I was too busy being spooky to iron it. Because I'm stupid and weird. <laughs> my first step was to add contour, so I started off with an unsaturated brown and carved out my cheekbones. Once that was complete, I dipped my brush into a small amount of blue eyeshadow and gently layered this on top. I will say that this look uses a lot of blue, and my main advice is to take your time with it, because it can quickly get out of control. For blush, I added some blue to my cheeks, the bridge of my nose and chin, again spending quite a bit of time blending it out. Moving on to the eyeshadow look, I started by covering the outer side of my lid with blue eyeshadow. I then began to blend it out into my crease, dragging it out towards my temples. I actually ended up working a small amount of pink into the crease since I didn't clean my brush, so there's a warning for you. Once I finished blending, I took a darker shade of blue and placed that in my crease and along my outer lash line. After all this, I went back to the original blue and began to build up some of the colour that had been lost. I didn't realise how important this step was at first, but I do think it helped to bring the whole look together. In order to create a base for the next step, I added some white eyeshadow to the inner part of my lid using my finger, making sure to cover my inner corner as well. I then took a white shimmery colour and placed that over the matte white, gently blending it in with the blue. Once that was done, I added blue under my lash line and quickly added some pink blush to the top of my cheekbones, since the blue was becoming quite overwhelming. Using the same shimmery white from my eyeshadow, I began to add highlight on my cheekbones and the tip of my nose. I then used my blue eyeliner to add some lower lashes before lining the rest of my eye. If you don't have a blue eyeliner, you could either use blue eyeshadow with an angled brush or just a black liner. I then used my white eyeliner in my waterline. I'm not sure if you're supposed to do this because it's done quite a bit, but if you're doing this step, I would use a white waterline pencil instead. Then I quickly added some mascara and the eyeshadow look is complete. For my top lip, I placed some blue eyeshadow onto it using a brush. And then for my bottom lip, I started off by putting some blue eyeshadow in the center of my lip before covering it with a nude crayon. To finish my skin, I used my white eyeliner to add some freckles to my cheeks and the bridge of my nose. You could definitely finish the look here if you wanted to. If it doesn't pass as a ghost, it would definitely pass as an ice queen or something like that. Moving on, using my white eyeliner, I drew some little ghosts on my face. I would describe the shape as a wobbly tear, so just go with that. I guess the idea is that I'm the daddy ghost and I'm surrounded by baby ghosts or something like that. Maybe Casper just lives on my face, I don't know. Once I finished the outlines, I added some little faces using my blue eyeliner and bam, you've got some ghost boys. FYI, I would actually recommend adding some little ghost arms just to avoid any confusion about what they are. And with that being said, the look is finished. Okay, so that is it for this video. Yeah, I really hope that you like some of them. Make sure you comment down below which one is your favourite because I'd be very interested to see. Um, if you do decide to create any of them, make sure you tag me on Instagram or wherever you post them. I really hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure you leave a like if you did and subscribe if you're new here. Yeah, I will see you in the next video. Bye. But yeah, uh, comment down below what your plans are for, for Christmas. <laughs> Hello.